Okay, good morning and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Happy holidays to everyone that might be watching. Today I'm going to do be doing a quick tutorial on Rhino 7. I'm going to uh, be showing you guys how to use the sweep feature and possibly how to use the Boolean uh, difference and uh, extract. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and open up Rhino 7. I'm going to go ahead and say new. I'm doing this in uh, small inches, so we'll go ahead and indicate that. Now we're going to go ahead and go over here to our polyline. We're going to make a uh, we're going to make a little uh, line, a little path to travel on. That's going to be a padlock. So we'll go ahead and uh, come over here to the fillet curve. We want to make sure the radius is on two. So we want to click first spot, click second spot, and then right mouse click. Start the function over again. Click first spot, click second spot. Go ahead and hit the uh, arrow key. Okay, now we're going to go, now we have our shape to follow. We're going to go ahead and go down here with this arrow key and change the top view. We're going to say set view, and we're going to come down here to perspective. Um, so now we want to go ahead and uh, we want to go ahead and get our uh, hover over our circle, hold down, go to this one. This is circle vertical to C plane, and then we want to come in here. Yeah, now you have to be careful how you how you turn the uh, your pad or your uh, mouse because you want them to be this way. So right mouse click, we'll do the second one over here. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get our tool there. All right, now we want to go ahead in the command prompt up here, we want to type in sweep. And we want it to be sweep one. The difference is sweep one goes around one path, and sweep two goes around two, two paths. So we only have one. So it's asking here to select all the edges. So we want to go one, two, three, right mouse click, enter. And then this you can make some changes to, but as long as it looks good, we'll go ahead and say OK. Now we want to come up here to our view, and we want to change it down to uh, ghosted so we can see kind of what's going on. We'll do the same with this one too. Just click in the uh, viewport to activate. It'll be blue like this. And then you want to go up here and say view, and then we'll go ahead and go down to ghosted. Okay, now we want to cap off these. So to do that, in the command line, we'll type in cap. Hit enter, it says select objects to cap. We're gonna go this one, and we're gonna say enter. Now these are closed. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put the padlock part on here. So we'll go ahead and get our, our rectangle tool. Now up here in the command prompt, we wanna select center. And then we wanna come down here to the front view. And we wanna go from center Probably make it like this big. Now we'll get our, our uh, pointer tool. Now we want to, in the command prompt, we want to type move. We want to click on this. Right mouse click. We'll go from center over to here. Just make sure that the the uh, one in the right plane is lined up, so then you go ahead and click. And we'll click on the uh, pointer tool. Now we want to extrude this rectangle. Now what I meant by what I, the last statement I made is in the right plane, just make sure that this line here is lined up with this, because if it was out here, it wouldn't be in the right spot. So we'll go ahead and in the command line, we'll type extrude or EX, enter. Now we want to select this. We want a right mouse click button. And make sure uh, sometimes up here, both sides, make sure both sides equals no. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and bring it down about that far. 
click our pointer tool. We'll just scroll around, make sure this looks good. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and type in cap. Hit enter. We're going to select this line here. Hit the enter on the key, so close it. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to do fillet corners. Uh, so you want to come over here. You want to type in fillet, F-I-L. Start to type in fillet, and then you've got an option to, for corners. So we want to go ahead and select these corners here. And then go right mouse click. This equals one, so we're going to change that. Or actually, go ahead, I want it to be one. So uh, go ahead and click enter. Now we have round fillets on the surface there. So we'll go ahead and view, come up here to the view, and we'll say rendered. And for some reason that didn't change, so we're going to go ahead and do that again. So we'll go fillet, type in F-I-L, we'll fillet corners. Right mouse click button, enter. Hmm. Odd. Let's try that again. Fill it. Corners. Let's just try one corner and see what happens. Right mouse click, enter. some reason it's not filleting that. Maybe it's too extreme. Okay, we'll try that again. We'll go ahead and go fill it. Fill it edge. We'll go ahead and uh, change the radius here. We'll put in uh, 0.5. Then we'll go ahead and start selecting some of these. Enter. Enter. Okay, there we go. That's better. Sometimes if it won't accept the radius, it means it's usually means it's too big. So we'll go ahead and right mouse click. Make sure that the radius is on 0.5, and then we'll select the next corners. Right mouse click. Enter. All right, that's basically how you would how you would create a lock. Now I'm going to show you guys how to use the boolean feature. Um, what we want to do is grab the circle tool. We're going to put a hole through this uh, lock here. So we'll go ahead and create that. Then we're going to go ahead and click on the viewport. We're going to change this from view. We're going to go back down to wireframe so we can see our circle. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get the pointer tool. We're going to say extrude. We're going to click on that actual circle in the middle and a right mouse click button. And make sure that both sides equals yes. It doesn't really matter how big it is. Um, ultimately, we're going to end up changing that. So we'll go ahead and um, click on the perspective there. Go to view, say view shaded so we can see. Now we're going to type in cap in the command line. We're going to go ahead and select that, hit enter. It's going to cap it for us. Okay, now we want to do the boolean feature. So you want to come over here. Uh, this is going to be in your viewport layout. This is these little two little uh, boolean balls. So we're going to click there. We're going to come over to the second one, which is a boolean difference. We're going to select this. We're going to right mouse click and select this, and then we're going to enter. And that basically cuts a hole in our lock.
And then if we want to fill it off these other two corners here, we can go back and just say fill it, fill it edge. Make sure that it's on a half. Go ahead and select that and that. Right mouse click, enter. Yeah, don't look too bad. Okay, and then uh, if you want to put a color on this, you can go ahead and uh, select the perspective viewpoint. You can say view, come down here to render, and then you could go ahead and uh, under the uh, materials palette, if it and if it isn't loaded, go over here to panels, and just make sure that you've got a check mark next to it. It'll show up over here. So you want to click that plus sign, import from materials library. Say we wanted to give this a metal, double click on metal, double click on satin, and we'll go with the satin berry anodized. And then we want to come over here, give that a color there. We could actually make this latch here black, so we'd add a second color. Click the plus, click import from materials library, import metal, satin, and then say, uh, let's just go copper. That should be interesting. And then we click on the copper, drag it over there. All right, not that you would have a lock like this. This is uh, purely a tutorial just for demonstration purposes. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Um, if you want to view this and just uh, wide open, you go ahead and uh, click on your Maximize Viewpoint Restore. Do a Select All, and just kind of click and drag that where you want it, want it to be. So there's our lock that we just created. Um, we did a sweep on the uh, actual lock itself. We did an extrude on this piece, and then we uh, did a Boolean difference, uh, extruded through both sides, and then we uh, did a Boolean difference, cutting, uh, selecting this lock, the pad part of the lock, and then uh, right mouse clicking, and then selecting the uh, extruded uh, circle, and then it cut a hole for us. And then we did fill it edge, and we filleted these edges to uh, 0.5 radius. Um, okay, so that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you found anything useful out of it, please consider liking and subscribing. And thanks again for watching.